So he says, I have written to you so that you should not sin. Then he says, but if any man sin, we have a lawyer, a defense lawyer. We have an advocate with the Father. Jesus Christ is our advocate with the Father. Notice he says, advocate with the Father. That means the advocate is on the Father's side. The advocate is not arguing to God. He's arguing on God's side. Okay? So God is with us. He is for us. He says, I've written to you so that you don't sin. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. And he's the propitiation for our sins. And not for our sins only, but also for the sins of the whole world. So if a Christian sins, he needs to obtain forgiveness from God. Did you notice what I said? He needs to obtain forgiveness. He should receive forgiveness. Can we, read, can we read again what it says? I want you to notice clearly what it does not say. He says, And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. Now, go to chapter 1, the same book, 1 John chapter 1. And I want you to look at verse 9. Read verse 9. That's wonderful. If we confess our sins, He's faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So when a Christian sins, we direct him to this scripture so that he can obtain forgiveness and be cleansed. He should not remain in his sin. He should confess to the Lord his sin and receive forgiveness. Say, Lord, I sinned against you. What I did was wrong. And in the name of the Lord Jesus, I receive forgiveness. Don't ask him for forgiveness. You know why I said don't ask? Receive forgiveness. Because if you're asking, when will he give it? Did you hear me? When will he give it? Because he already did. He already planned it out. He already made it available. What you're supposed to do is to take it 